that is why I make a living because everything I've done. You say you're talking about eight years, like man yeah. just went ham. The only reason why I went ham, bruv, no disrespect, in this scene, who's gonna relate to an old well, not an old way, I could call me old now, but a father who's um happens to be black, smokes weed, loves hip hop. Everyone's got like some niche or some angle, rare, rare. When I came out, mm. I came out as me, blood. Like yeah. I came out as yeah. the working class dad. Nothing, yeah. no gimmick, no yeah. rare, rare. So who's going to relate to that? That's why I've always worked twice as hard. I've always known that my music can transcend more than just me rapping, bro. Like I yeah. know like I can make something classic. I'm still on the brink of doing that mm. with some, pff, some you oh, know then, what I mean? Yeah, no, listen, and this is where I have to press pause for one mm. second. <laughs> Killer Killer Official Street Culture TV. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Killer Podcast. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Killer Killer Podcast. Live and direct, central London, as central as you need to be. Could be, should be, choose to be. It's your call, but you wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Big shout out to all the original sharers and carers, people locking in, tuning in, copping out. If you've got the Street Culture Memo television app, is on board, full effect, free download, iPhone, Android for your Street Culture sports, everything from mini docs, small docs, big docs, and uh, the podcast, mini mixes and all that. Anyway... Um, big shout out to our sponsors, Hodder Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Um, and yo, you know what time it is? Inside the house today. Oh my God. <clears throat> Unsung hero is not the word. Uh, part of the lineage of, of UK hip hop and beyond. Uh, before the gutter rap in the boom bap era. It was him <laughs> himself at Akai. Uh, he was minding his own business until he started collaborating. And for the last... Arguably eight years of a stronghold campaign of just collaborating production value beyond uh, globally, man. This guy is doing it with a whole heap of different people, uh, not to mention a lyricist himself. <sighs> it's a toughie. Yeah. Where to begin? Michael Parkinson in the building. <laughs> How do I top that, man? Damn, what an intro. Hey, What, what an intro. Well, Damn. don't speak, don't lie. When you look at the biog, it wow. tells everything. <laughs> yeah, wow. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's deep that you talk about, you know, this... Eight year, it is, isn't it? Pit, roughly, like, it's cool. Wow, it. I didn't even really look at it because I've just been so focused on. Yeah, it's one of them ones where you say like you can't move forward sometimes if you look in the rear view. Yeah. You know that word. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. it's like I've just been like that. But I mean, yeah, I'm thankful to still be doing it. And yeah, man, I've got albums what are ten years old. What are getting released? You know, it's mad to, to even fathom that. You know, but deluxe yeah, I'm versions, mixtape versions. Yeah, you know, what I mean? du, 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 du. you know what I mean. It's like you're firing shot, 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 shot. It's like, dude, dude. You know how much it was in is in your arsenal right now? What's in your catalog right now that you ain't released? How how quick a turnaround? Oh man, damn. Um, what's not in my? What's not out yet? Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, before I finish this, uh -huh. um, me, you know, uh, my new, the new album is called Still. Go and get it. It's on Boot Records. Features Kaiser, Scribbler, Noughts, um, Joker Star, Serious. EP. Yeah, yeah, man. Go and get that now, Wax, please. You know. Yeah, and then obviously we'll get into that. Yeah. But um, me myself and I when, when before I did that, I had um, a whole second album done with Giallo Point. Really? Yeah. yeah. So um, it's literally. But we held back, you know what I mean? I just, when I do an album with someone, it's like the same way. Like, I don't count, I don't count my album with Mr. Thing as mm -hmm. my album. I count it as our album. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, when people are like, how is this your fourth studio album? I'm like, it is. Because all, even though them other albums are albums mm -hmm. and I'm rapping and it's a full length, you know, mm -hmm. it's like... It's me and the producer, it's me and the DJ, it's me and the, it's, you know, it's our album. So it's the same with like when I did the record of Juggernaut or what have you not, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's... So many collaborations, bruv, so many albums. <laughs> like, I think that's the, that's the shocking thing of it all. It's like, you know, some people are quite satisfied with a single, maybe an EP, 
We we'll call it a six track mini LP. Now you go in, bro. You know what? It's funny, <laughs> oh man, because it's gonna go way back now. I remember because I used to be in a crew called Two Halves. Big up Ram. Big Hold up tight, CBM, Ram. Yeah, yeah, because you graph writer as well. Let's yeah, not forget. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're you dealing know I mean? with this is this is proper hip hop. If you know here. about if you know about Freedom Fighters, yeah, that's Ram speaking yeah, big on up, Freedom Ram. Fighters. You know what I'm saying? Um, Serious bars. And well. with yeah, like it's kind of. <laughs> I find it kind of strange, like through the realm of where I came from doing that stuff to producing, because Ram was the first artist I really realistically produced for. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because, yeah, like, because we were two halves and we were doing our thing. And, bro, it's just a mad area we're from. Like, even him being in CBM, because I was in CBM, well, I still am, yeah. but like. I sure hope so. Big up Matt, who inducted yeah. me. Big up Matt. Big up Barry. Rest in peace, Kendall. Big up Pure. Big um, up Bees. Big up you know Crept. What I mean? Big up Crept. Yeah. Big up Mace. Yeah. You know what I'm Fave, saying? Hold yeah, time. you know what I'm saying? Big up Sharky. You know, All the originators. We're you in get trouble me. now because yeah. we're, we're probably people we're forgetting right uh, now. <laughs> yeah, there's big man we're forgetting <laughs> yeah, still, yeah. yeah. But I, I would be real, like, it's like 98, 90, 96, 97, around the, like, yeah, no, you know what? George, it was 97, 98. <laughs> White White City ends. You, if you know, you know. And like to see that it go full circle. I look at my life now. Even the people who I went to school with, growing up around here, like because I'm from Northwest London, yeah. it's kind of mad. Like man's back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? As he's walking like, down, you were like, "Yeah, Yo, bro, the, the history here." Yeah, man. It's like down the road. Like I remember, like the cipher outside Harry Love's house with yeah. all of us. You know what I mean? Big up Kaiser Harry. to yeah, Mr. Right. Tibbs to Maestro to Verb T. <sighs> Everyone to reveal to Ooh. Doc Brown to every everyone was just outside. It was Harry Love's birthday, like yeah, yeah like it, it, man's been through the whole kung fu era and yeah, gone through really the have. whole like um, thing. And then obviously before I actually culminated into Michael Parkinson, yeah, like two halves we stopped like rapping. Well, I kind of just thought you know I'm gonna give up kind of thing, but it's <laughs> kind of deep in terms of when I said that and I mentioned Ram. Ram, I always, he he will tell you, I always said, look, I want a record, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I want my shit on wax. You get me? Like, yeah. And that was like from like 2001. I was like, <laughs> I don't care. I want my shit on wax. Yeah. And, you know, and lo and behold, now this is how I make a living. It's how you make yeah. a living. <laughs> bro, that is testament to skill set, uh, work, work ethic. And... Very few can say that. Very few people can say in, in, a, in a sustainable way, in a world which we're living in now, that you can make a living. You can make a living off this. You can make a living. There's many revenue streams to make a living. It's just depending on how. When we came into this thing, mm. and I'm talking like even like low life, because low life pressed my, I don't know, um, uh, a pressing and distribution deal with them because yeah. I was on sit tight. So low life was a record label for those that. Yeah, <laughs> basically I tried to do a Jay Z shit like what Jay Z did with Def Jam for my first album. <laughs> yeah, like nice. so. Yeah, that's, if in layman's terms, yeah, you get me. Yeah. Like so, um, and going through that and seeing like we didn't know like there was a first of I just want my shit on record. Mm. Then you get your shit on record. Then. I want to do shows and I want to go places I've never been to mm. showcasing my art. Then you do that. Then you do all the like more stuff. Like I want to produce or I want to do be this. I want to do a film, but yeah, yeah, be on radio or real, real. Go. And then you do that. And then you're like, okay, I've done all that. And then I, right, yo, I want to know the business. Mm. And then once you get to that, then you just be like, yo, I did all of this. Like, who got paid? Like, who, you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? like, you'd be like it's that. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just it, it is what it is. So then, once you know, that's why I said ownership is key for me, um, and that is why I make a living because everything I've done. You say you're talking about eight years. Like, man, yeah. just went ham. The only reason why I went ham, bruv, no disrespect, in this scene, who's gonna relate to an old? Well, not an old. I could call me old now, but a father who's um happens to be black smokes weed loves hip hop everyone's got like some niche or some angle rare rare when i came out mm. i came out as me blood like yeah. i came out as yeah. the working class dad nothing yeah. no gimmick no yeah. rare rare so who's going to relate to that that's why i've always worked twice as hard i've always known that 
my music can transcend more than just me rapping, bro. Like, I yeah. know, like, I can make something classic. I'm still on the brink of doing that mm. with some... Some, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, listen, and this is where I have to push pause for one second. Mm. Classics. As you mean, me, myself, and Akai, dude. Like, these, this is seminal, seminal work. Like, it's funny because, you know, whenever I'm, like, going to have, you know, a VIP in the building, mm. right, I go, you know, I take it back for a week. I listen to some stuff I ain't heard for ages. And then I yeah. delve a little bit deeper. But I'm like, <sighs> just top of top. It, it, bro. Hey, bruv, you know what is when... <sighs> When I did that album, because it was a comp, because I'd already working class dad, I would, I've obviously produced beats on it. When yeah. I first, I produced Freedom Fighters. If people don't know, that's right. I produced like with two halves, NWC when we were all and NWC. Yeah. If people don't know, NWC consisted of me, Ram, Me, Marcus Excla- explains who used to live down the road. <laughs> um, big up Marcus explains. No Amos, easy, see. Amos. No easy. Amos, who, well, his name used to be Al Simmons. That's my guy. I've known him for since I was four. Amos, um, just DJ for Genesis Elijah. Oh, wow. You must have seen him around. Yeah, yeah, he runs a media company now. Oh, right. And um, Kaiser. <laughs> yeah, before Terra Firma, before any of this. You get me? Crazy. And Yeah. So it's like I had all of these dope fucking hungry artists. Or, right, I've, so I've always kind of had that thing in my head like, yo, man. I know I can just give you a dope canvas to paint a picture. Mm. I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but like, that's why I've just, certain people like, I've always known, like it's not really a case of me being arrogant. I've always known that I'm good at what I can do, Mm -hmm. but I don't think I have to prove that. And what I see a lot, you can get lost in the source, in it? Like, you know, there's so much music coming out. People don't really, but... I guarantee you, you will hear my name. You understand? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a bloodline thing. Like I don't know. Like my cousin, my cousin. You will never forget my cousin. You and know your what cousin, mean? My cousin is, is, by the way, the fly hooligan. <laughs> you get me? Like so, you will ne- like. I don't. When we do this or wh- whatever we do, we have to go ham. Now I am been since this. Funny enough, this is ten years old now. Me, myself, ten, and Akai. Yeah. The ten at the back. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, now, since then. Since this album, I've been self-employed. So I've been self-employed off music for 10 years, bro. Like, my wife, four kids. Four kids, you know. Bro, well, not four. One's an adult, man. Starting to feel like rest in peace, Sean Price. Hey, they have to grow up somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? But like... Proper. Like, literally, three of them, when I, you know, I was working, you know, had part-time jobs, still doing this. But yeah, Zion, who's nine, yeah going to be 10 this year like literally the first baby I had just literally uh, this pram music bought his pram right okay, <laughs> okay <laughs> music right. bought his so pram his, 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 <laughs> you know I mean? this is going to be a great yeah. fucking podcast right okay let's deconstruct this even further there's going to be some people out there our ages and younger that know will either not know or know of your legacy <clears throat> and mm-hmm. will be curious to know how that sustainability is broken down over the period of 24 hours even. So explain to me <laughs> how, because you're busy doing yeah. everything. You've got <laughs> however many kids and every day is a different page. How, explain, how do, you, how, do you, how do you even come to making beats on a regular? How uh, do you make them that good on a regular? This is not normal, bruv. <laughs> it's like, it is normal, man. If you, if you apply yourself to something every day. I saw something the other day. A man was saying, yo... If you learn the skill for five minutes every day for the next 10 years, every day, but you learn something, it could be yoga, it could be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee you by 10 years, you'll be a master at it. Now with me, I always made beats. Like always, I'd always try and make make the time to make a beat, even if it's once a day, one a day. I was talking to your man Kong the other day. Yeah, big up Kong. Big up Kong. Like No Poland records. And he was like, how much do you do a day? And I was like, now, depending on the workload or whatever, like I might do three, four a day. It depends on what what hits me, how I'm inspired, what herb I'm blazing, you know, what I'm going through. What I've noticed is you have to sometimes have breaks. Now, when I put out Steel and even dealing with this record, yeah. I had a break. I didn't make a beat for like a, a week. I didn't make one beat. 
And then after, I made like 15 in three days. Yo. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like just, turning on a tap, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, but, but I got to big up like a lot of people who inspire me and help me, man. Because, you know, um, you know, in terms of my drum sounds, I get a lot of stuff from Butcher. Ooh. Big up. Um, Your AP, snare's a killer, AP, man. Oh, bro, bro, I've got... There's certain snares I've made out of other people's stuff, you know what I mean? But like, I've AP, well, AP Appetite, aka Dutty Feet, um... Bro, just like loads of music, I just just mess with it, man. And, but to you know. explain your twenty four hours in. All so. right, all right. Let's say usual morning. I don't do the morning school runs no more, so I I'll just do it like. A, so I don't do the morning school runs now. So right. my wife would do the morning school runs. So get up, brush your teeth, have yeah. a bath, yeah, have a cup of coffee, yeah. bill a zoo. Yeah. While I'm billing the zoo, I'm checking out YouTube or whatever's breaks or whatever mad stuff's going on so this is what we're 11, 11 o'clock now nah but, bruv this is about like 9 30 big up all the zoo builders out yeah. there like, building from, from 8 30 wake, wake and bake bro wake and really? bake that you wrong? yeah like so yeah like so it's like about yes yeah, about 9 30 i think the computer's already on or the mp's on by like you know 10 i'd maybe most probably depending on how i've been inspired by what sample i've heard or by, by, by what music because sometimes i just dig and then i'll just get bare samples and then i'll just keep them somewhere and then sometimes i'm like yo i've got these drums and i'll just mess with these drums and then i'll just go through a lot of the shit i've stashed so sometimes i ain't even got i've dug like i've you know whether it be digital digging yeah. or you know some vinyl i've already got like a plethora of like shit on a hard drive that right I can go through so but that was because i was constantly even when i'm not making a beat and I'm out having a zoo because I don't smoke in my house, innit? I smoke in the garden, but the garden's like, you know, you can rear it. So usually when I'm, I'm just on YouTube or just checking out, just my That becomes your break. break. That should get away from the studio, have a zoo, get back in. Yeah, like it gives me a bit of a, like, it's kind of mad. Sometimes I'll make, like, it's like the zoo is lunchtime. Mm. So, so I'll try and, yeah, let me try and make two or three. And then by then and I've put them up or... I've done my sound effects. I've done it quick. I don't know how quick, um, because it took, I would say, maybe about eight years for me to get this work rate because I had to know how to have a, there's a certain system in the way I make beats now. Before I didn't have that, and that all took experimentation. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. took me getting it right, getting it wrong. Let me play using the same drums all the time or till you find your right drums or yeah. till you find your right song like I was doing that but now I've got a system I'm not like one of them you know yo man you don't tell man what you sampled I'm not yeah, like that no, like no. but um I've just got a system now now I can make beats quantized you wouldn't like you wouldn't you'd think that that's not quantized yeah, 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 yeah. now yeah, I know yeah, how yeah. to do stuff on the system and I and, and I just use the Akai Renaissance bro I mm -hmm. haven't even changed the system I haven't upgraded I'm still on the 1.16 that's your bro. instrument yeah, that's, that's how it, it works like, sometimes I don't even use it sometimes I just use the laptop bro like I'm my bass lines everything like everything's on there like I'm you know when I've even like a lot of the stuff when with even with Ben Kingsley mm -hmm. a lot of the dope beats on that um like my cousin knew what he was yeah. doing, innit? He Getting was hovering around, me, Kingsley, <laughs> hovering around me, like, you know what I mean? He knew, but like, it's even pushing the limits. Like, for instance, Gourmet Trap, a lot of people don't know, Gourmet Trap had drums on that. I, you know what? Yo, Just, yeah, I big up my cousin because he if wanted it weren't it for, no, Bro, it was his, yo, that's that's why he he helped like, that record as long as it. Did he know, rap it my first cousin, with the beats and then took the beat he, out? Bro, yo, my cousin is a genius, yeah? Like, when I. Did that, he had the beat. Like, I gave him the beat and then I gave him the stems for it, yeah? And he's like, nah, man, cars, take the thing out. I'm taking the thing out. And I, all right, cool. And then he sent me what, and you know. So no trap, beat, he me. was rhyming without the beat. That's a tough but no, but that, But that was, he, he, that's why he's a genius. Like, I could hear it, like, you know, I added drums to it. It had drums to it. I had drums to it. Like, it was a mad thing, but he took, he took that shit out. Um, Woo Baby too, like that's me. Mm. Um, <clears throat> the 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 joint, um, which is my favorite joint, the one what that which is I don't know if it's smart, but I've made that. Me and Beat Butcher made that together <laughs> on his um, Ableton. Um, funny enough, that beat was meant to be for me, <laughs> 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 but it's like my cousin, like yeah, it was, you know, he had to kill that. You get me, but yeah, like there's so many. 
Oh, it's it's mad. Like even now, like lately, like um, I just had a joint out with Luna C. Big up mm. Luna C. Good time, Luna you get C. me? I'm I'm down to work, bruv. And that's the thing. I think a lot of people they don't allow they, they their egos don't allow them to work. Um, what in case of over um, selling? I don't. I, you know what? I'll be real. I I don't know what overselling is. No. All I know is over surviving, bro. Like I don't, <laughs> bro. I'm just being real. Like, yeah, real you talk, know, bro. Like all of these guys, oh, you don't have to do this. Real, real, twiddling their thumbs. And no, shit. that's bullshit. Yeah, I, that's on you. If you want to do that, that's cool. But don't <laughs> like. It's real out here, bro. It's the cost of living, man. Yeah. So you need to work harder, like if you want to live off this music shit. Yeah. So that's that's what it was for me. That's why I keep on. That's why I have a system. Yeah. Well, I, can, I made three beats today before I even got, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's the next thing, bro. I've made How many three... beats have you done today, yeah? yeah? I, made, to I made three, they're up on the cloud. Like, I made three beats today. I had to get a package together. Big up Axel Holy as well. I had All to right. send, I've got to send him out. Some, you know, I'm running around trying to send out records, selling tapes. Yeah, because you, know you did mean? that. I think that's where my curiosity lied is like, you're, you know, your cottage industry in it. Like, you're, you're a one man army here. Like, I've got no choice. Man ain't got no inheritance, bruv. Man ain't got no. <laughs> man ain't got I, no. I, I hear that. Man ain't got no ISA. Yeah. yeah. You get me? Like, man ain't got no none of them things, <clears throat> bruv. All we've got is by hook or by crook. Like, all we've got. And I've got mouths to feed. So the fact that people want to know how I survive is because I have multiple revenue streams. Do you think most people ask that? Uh, not excluding myself, you understand? I'm merely the conduit of conversation. But do you think a lot of people ask that question to you, recognising their own downfalls? No, I don't. I think it's a case of... I don't think it's a case of recognising their own downfalls because everyone makes mistakes. The whole point of making a loss is to turn it into a lesson. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You understand? And... I think we're in a new era now where there is no time for mistakes to the new era lot, so mm. to say. So mm. I feel it's like, oh, it's mad. You know the ones there like, remember the Back to the Future, bruv? And you know the fucking Sport Almanac? Like, this <laughs> yeah, is what yeah. we're dealing with right now. Like we're dealing with, We're dealing with like a lot of... The new up and coming dope artists, they have an almanac. Yeah. At their, it, it, they haven't, just look at the history. As yeah. my cousin would say, check the timeline, innit? Yeah. Yeah. You've got an almanac to see where a lot of us have fucked up, a lot of us have done. Yeah. You get me? So it's a lot, it's not a case of them, it's a case of, raw. how did you keep going mainly? I think it's more of like, raw, oh, brother, if it was me, I would have give up. That, that, like, that's what I think yeah. it's down to. But that's down to them, innit? It's the same with, yo, I'm going to climb this mountain. But you can't do that. No, yeah. you can't climb that yeah, mountain. Yeah, yeah. I'm climbing this motherfucking mountain. I think the blessing of, of hip-hop, particularly UK hip-hop, if I'd if I be more specific, is uh, where it comes to timelines. I mean, you could plonk any one of your songs on from yesteryear mm. and the relevance is still, it holds, still, still holds true. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's nice, that's nice to know, man. Like, I didn't... I, as I said, I've just been so like on some, I don't see the rear view because I'm in a position of raw. I've got to feed these kids. All I have is my talent. I've yeah. been doing this for so long. I can't even get a job, bro. Yeah, Cause yeah, man yeah. ain't even got experience. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, try, when you're young, you think it till you become it. When you become it, you don't know what you're going to do next. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Late. Like I can't even like get a little yeah. side hustle, legit side hustle job like yeah. that. Because I've been doing this for so long. Yeah. So when people ask me, oh, bro, how are you banging out? Now you know, bro. Yeah. You know, you want to buy a beat? Holler. I'm affordable. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah. Like, this is how I make... The, another reason as well is like, as I say, and I keep on stressing about legacy is... And I say it, I said it on Twitter the other day. I don't even really fuck with Twitter like that because I don't have notifications on that. But sometimes I just... And I was just like, listen, man, I want to be... My conscience is clear, like, I don't, I want to be, like, if I was to die, leave this podcast today, God forbid, and drop uh -huh. dead, I, I don't want anyone saying, yo, my man was an idiot, or rare, rare, like, or everything, he, nah, like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't mm -hmm. want it to be, like, the fool's whimper's tail, I don't know what it is, but for me, um, my kids are my greatest creations, 
ever like and my kids are, you know what i've created because i come from a broken home i'm not meant to have the things i have mm-hmm. i'm not meant to be you know what i'm saying like where yeah. i come from i've already won yeah regardless yeah. of not even having loads of money bro like i've already broke a lot of statistics and things before i was even fucking born that's fucking hard as fuck. yeah no but it's the truth it's, tr- it's the fucking truth so it's like yeah. i've already won so now it's about me solidifying what I've already won, so my kids can have. So if I die tomorrow, whatever, they know, yo, you know what? He weren't a prick. He didn't do any fuckery shit to nah. obtain it. Mm-hmm. Or there was no... That's why I said, when I came out, it was, I'm me. Like, there was no a persona. Nah. I've got to be rare, rare. Nah. Get me, I've got to be... Like, bruv, I don't, you know... I'm not a pushover. Like, like any man, I'll bleed for my children, bro. I'll take your head off. You know what I'm saying? Like, but... I just feel like a lot of people are too timid and they're too... Because we're in this new age of social media and rear end and even with that, people are scared. But it's just mm. like, listen, bruv, how I am on social media is how I am in real life. I ain't got yeah. no time for no fucking persona shit, bro. Yeah. I ain't got no time for that because I'm too old. I'm I'm Generation X, if you want to call it. <laughs> I'm too old for that shit, blood, to yeah. be, like, be like this way and then be like that way. Or like, yeah. nah, man, I ain't got no time for it. My kids is watching. And how what you see is what you get, bruv. You get me? I mean? And without question, there'll be some pride mm-hmm. coming from the other side when they're watching this later. Um, I also feel like, you know, you are your own blockchain. Like everything that you've kind of created is the historical timeline. That's the beautiful thing about um, reputability and prolificness is like you're constantly adding to the truth. Well, I have to because... Sorry to say, you can see it now. Like, we're in a new age of gentrification, like where people are just, well, not to say, say gentrification, but like, you know, we're in a new age where people have warped the history. Like, there's people out there who believe, you know, 50 Cent was the first rapper, bro. Yeah. Like, they just, and it's not their fault. It's because the way how we leave stuff, we don't document our stuff. That's why I'm so happy there is a, a hip hop museum mm. and stuff like this happening. Yeah. Even though this art form is like only fifty years old, yeah. the fact that it's only fifty years old and it's and it's still warped, mm. yeah, fifty years old. It's it's more easier to warp rock and roll like and because it's lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but this art form has been here for fifty years. It's fifty years old this year. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, and <laughs> we've got people not getting paid for things. We've got people like I was watching something, man. It bugged me out um, Because you know I watch Drink Champs sometimes yeah, yeah, It was Tony time. Yayo <laughs> And he was talking oh, to, Yeah he's talking yeah. about Shaw Manny XL uh, right. He's like Yo man he stole That wankster beat Like he stole the beat The guy Some guy Some other guy made it And I saw, Oh that's when I knew The music industry was foul Like that's what he was saying like. wow. And it's like Raw Now 20 years from now, someone will argue to the death yeah. that Charmany XL produced that. Yeah, 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 totally. And you get is, me? Yeah, like, you yeah. know what I mean? So it's just yeah. like, I. that's why I stress about legacy and that's why I stress about, you know, trying to leave some shit behind and you can't deny me. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not a question of me getting my flowers, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck about that. But I do see a lot of people trying to etch out history and act like mm. certain individuals didn't help out others and didn't put, put you know, what happened to, what happened to a saviour? Yeah. You get me? Big what up happened to Sa- Saviour? Big yeah. up Savvy, you get me? Yeah. Him doing his thing, like, you know what I mean? Big up Smurf, he's coming out, yeah. we're working together. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Like, so many other artists just been forgotten. and That is crazy, yo, isn't no, it? Yo, no, bro, bro, there's, there's so many artists, like, from even our era, like, they don't rap, no, like, I'm so, bro, I hope to, God forbid, the day motherfuckers try to forget who Super T is. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah? Because I... I like, people need to remember. This is what I'm talking about, as in, like... Serious. It's so easy to just, you know, dismiss what was done from 2000. Because this is where we're at now. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, well, you know, you, man, weren't... Well, you weren't seen as successful. You didn't... You weren't on the charts. And so. the graph scene is just as bad as yeah, well. Yeah, and yeah. And the breaking scene. Yeah, They're all just as bad. Yeah. They all like to try and, you know, nudge people. Oh, yeah, but they were just there. They were yeah, such. mum. You know what I'm saying? That's why... Um, I try and I well, I don't know. I, I I gravitate to creatives, as you you know. Um, there's so many graffiti writers I know. There's so many artists and cre- I don't know. Maybe it's a thing like that's why I get so much work. We get so much work done because mm. we're just around each other and it's just like a nice thing. 
Well, you, there's an element of living it. You've got to yeah. be in the pocket of the culture to really exercise your, your versatilities and what, you know, what you're listening to the ground. <laughs> you, you know, you've you, you got to hear it. You have to, well, you, um, at the same time, you, you, can, you can keep your ear to the ground, but you don't want to become a tourist, bruv. <laughs> you get true. me? Like, you know what I mean? Like, no disrespect. Like, it's just like, I know how to dip in. This is the never reason why I kind of like, because I don't live in, in the city of London no more. When I come in, I come in only strictly for my art and then I dip when I go home in it. Oh, you're so but, lucky. <laughs> no, but no, but I'm not. Real because talk. realistic, well, I'm just the same. My, my work is at home. My studio's in my dining room, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, my, you know, everything. I just like my system of how I can do stuff and execute stuff. And when it's time for the show, I show up and I'll do it. And rare tear tear. Like, I'm not into this. I miss the ages back in the day where we all used to hang out. Mm. You get me? Like, like I was talking about Harry's thing and shit like that. But now with the internet and the way how things are, like, everything's just gotten smaller. Mm. So... I use my energy wisely, especially at the age I am now. And the fact that I put out so much music, it's because I save my energy for music. I look at, I, I, not like certain idols, bruv, you know, I hear like how Dilla, like, you know, people talk about Dilla be at the strip club, like, and stuff like that. Yeah, and then he might just bug out and just leave and go lab. Like, yeah, that's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, like, this is... I'm at the lab all the time, bro, at home. So if I'm not there, then I might be at Nortz's. If I'm not at Nortz's, I might be on the phone to Giallo Point. If I'm not on the phone, then I might be talking to my um, my cousin, the Fly Hooligan. Yeah. If I'm not there, then I'll be showing Joker Star some beat. I've got like a circle of people. It's always good to have a circle of people to like... Because when I do this, yeah, bruv, anyone I've ever worked with, man, I really fucks with you. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if I don't fucks with you, I ain't doing it. <laughs> and... That's the difference between me. And if people ask, oh, how come you've put out a lot of shit? It's not because of money. Even if you were to ask the artists who I've worked with and they'll tell you how much they bought the beat or whatever, you'd be like, what? It's because I fucks with people, man. Like, I'm really, these are my peoples, bro. I'm leaving, these are this, you know, plethora of albums. The amount of artists, bro, that <laughs> will have to go through the list of names from Dirty Goods yeah. to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mott Man, uh, bloody even I was just saying Luna C now Unique Hastings Big Cakes Sunny Jim Sunny Jim um, My guy Yeah Life at the Bonanza man <laughs> Like you know what I mean like, So many works Out there So it's You know I don't I didn't really kind of It's kind of mad bro Because it's like I didn't really I did it So yeah man You know the name on the tin But I always had the sense of You, you know Man is just going to forget about it, bruv. So if you're going to forget about it, when you remember, you got a lot of shit to remember because I've got so much music you got to go through. Be more specific about that. Was it well, basically, like, let's say like I've just put out a new joint. It's happened now because I'm, I'm acquiring a couple, obviously, fans because I'm working with some American artists yeah, now. Yeah, I won't yeah. say any don't bait, certain, but some dope Yeah, dudes. mind your business. Yeah, and, yeah. Tell. <laughs> but like I'm, I'm producing for some dope um, US artists and... Man hollered me, like, in the middle of the night on WhatsApp, bruv. Like, yo, bro, I'm in the studio. I can mention one name. Big up Quelle Chris. I'm in a, um, he's like, yo, I'm in the studio, man. And we just checked out your whole catalogue. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? And yeah, I'm yeah. like, huh? Yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean? And that's all off still or all off me producing Ben Kingsley, yeah, yeah, even. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. or all off Juggernaut. Someone heard Juggernaut. Oh, rah, rah. Like, you know, me being added to a, a, a Spotify playlist. playlist. Before you know it, down and then, the And then that's it. And then that just brings people in the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. And then they check out, yo, let's check out this Michael Parkinson dude. Shit, he's got so much shit. I remember, you know, big up Fibs, yeah? Fibs, Fibs the creator. Come on, Fibs. Yeah, um, he was going, yeah. bruv, oh, your, your Spotify pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because... I just want to hear your albums and you've got too many. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's true. It's true. It's like, you go, you're, you're like the rock and roll, like rock, only, only rock and roll Because I just want to hear many. you rapping and then I'll just go on the shuffle and it's just got so, you've got so much music for so much people, bro. And I've got yeah. to give them a list of it's like nice. what my albums. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's good, you know. Well, and you think <clears throat> that's like the, 
that first of all, anyone that calls anybody in the middle of the night, that ain't that's either bo- booty call or something's wrong with my oh, no, mom no, and no, dad, no, bro. Like, like, that it was, it was Ol- a big up Oliver Rothstein, man. <laughs> Oliver Rothstein. It was Oliver Rothstein. Like we have. Well, you should go and check out his album called The Cooth, Dope. which is out now. All right. Um, I've got three beats on it. He's from Philadelphia. Nice. We've got an album called The Philadelphian coming. Um, it's got Quelle Chris on it. Big up Quelle Chris. Um, but, you know, yeah. it's kind of mad because I hooked them up together, innit? Because Quelle Chris is a mad fan of him. Yeah. And um, yeah. it's got, we've got Ito on it. Little Ito. We've got Ochino Vasquez. Huh? From the old school, like you know, I don't even know if you like know the, you know, like the Philly crew, like you know, Meek, Meek Mills lot, the yeah. Dream Chasers yeah, lot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Back in got, play, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, who else? We got um, Buick, Buick B, and now we got Thirty Eight Special. <sighs> and yeah, yeah, but yeah, like I'm, I'm a bit miffed. Like House Shoes has already played a couple of the joints on really? on his Twitch, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite thankful. To even have made the connection, and I'll have to big up Mick Swagger for um because it was Mick Swagger who put me on to him. Um, because Mick Swagger um worked he worked with Nick Craven, you know, mm-hmm. Nicholas Craven. He did an yeah. album, funny enough, um, where Nicholas Craven did half the beats and Farmer G did the other half. Ooh. And I'm on both sides, which is dope. But yeah, he hooked me up, he put me on to Oliver Rothstein, and then yeah, we've just been just going ham, just back and forth, doing a fucking the, madness. The, right the now. American it was such a beautiful uh, lane that was suddenly carved out. You know, Griselda. He t- I mean, you know, all the candidates we talk about. On the gourmet podcast. Deluxe. Yeah, come on, <laughs> big up the Gourmet Deluxe. But, but, they, but, but, but you, yeah. Real you, shit. You and your cousin were on the, literally like at the, at the start of orders when this thing came through. Farmer, Eto, all these, you know, mm. these people that suddenly were making beats for, for these cats. And it's, yeah, it's... Um, you know what? I just think I, just, I think we all have that hunger and knowledge for something dope. And the thing about hip hop, like the shit, like all of them artists you mentioned, the type of music what we're making or we're ma- like making now, it's done being made, bro. We're just yeah. making it better. I, I've just seen even with the grids when it, like. The Griselda sound is butcher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the whole leap, like big up Derringer and, and, and all of them, man. But that that's butcher. That's mm. beat butcher. Mm-hmm. That's his sound. Mm-hmm. A lot of people's stuff now, they 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 will lose it. I use beat butcher's kits as well. Like, but like all of the sound now, a lot of it is beat. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but- <laughs> yeah. it's butcher. Like, so it's about finding, um, you know, like where would you see with Giallo point? There's certain, you know, there's artists, man. They just made the fucking, you know, like just brothers. You said they're laying in it, and mm. it's just their thing. And I feel we're all kind of I don't want to say under the umbrella of that. I just think we just all work hard, man. And it's never been a case of um, competition. If it's competition to any of the others, then yeah. wow, I'm amazed. <laughs> as you see me as that, you know what I mean? But um, I think we. I think it's only just because we just won't stop. You know what I mean? I love what Farmer's done with Rome. I love what... Mm. The, all of these things, bruv, they inspire me. Well, yeah, they give you... It's almost yeah, like, like no case so, sign that Yeah, it's like, yo, you get me? So um, that's why I just keep on plugging away and, and working with the amount of artists I've done. I've got some new joint coming out of Amy True soon. Nice. When that comes out, yeah. then everyone will be Amy. looking at me different as well. Really? We- mm. Not different on a, yo, what's this? But I just see it as like, you know what? If people, sorry, in terms of football, as you can see, yeah, yeah I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, Arsenal, old tight. Now, if all of you not know, Bukayo Saka, you must have heard of him. He's only 21 years old and bare man are talking about he's not even hit his peak yet. That's how I like to see my music. I ain't even really... I've just getting started. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I'm literally just get. If you think all of this, bro, that was me training. Yeah. yeah. Like, bro, I'm being real. Come man. on, man. Like, that was being That's real because I, like I didn't know. I didn't know. Bro, this album is the first album I recorded myself. The only tune what I didn't record is with Kaiser and Scribbler. And um, that was done at Scribbler's crib. But yeah, and and yeah. But 10 tracks I recorded at, in my crib. I didn't know how to record. That's my fourth album, bro. Yeah, that's how many crazy. fucking albums do have I put out? And I'm, yeah. I've got 
man pressing record for me. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That ha- yeah. <laughs> but actually, to be fair, and, and when you look at the, you know, trajectory, it's actually quite, you know, like now you're in a position where you're creating from almost like, the, you know, the, the, the sous chefing through to the delivery on the table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, I see it. You know, it's one of them ones, basically, in layman's terms, I remember seeing some fucking Russ interview. You know that rapper Russ? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, man, I was doing, you know, when he was signed. And then I, I got to see behind the curtain. And then when I looked behind the curtain, I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Superman, yeah. he's on strings. Like, what the fuck? Like, man can't fly. Like, mm. all of this shit. You start seeing all of this shit. Yeah. And that's the only analogy I can put for what, why I disappeared for a while. And because I just saw some shit, bro, I was like, nah, I'm not really, I didn't get into this music for this. I didn't do this music for this. This is not where my moral compass lies. This is not what I do it for. Clout has never been about, you know, it's never been about me. Like, I've never been about the clout because the clout is not feeding my, it's not feeding my kids. My music feeds my kids. If it's dope music, if I care about clout, then this, sh- this shit's whack. Yeah. And that's why I think certain people's music is whack nowadays because they just care about more of the clout and the the opportunity of the situation of what they may be doing instead of the art itself. And um, Does that damage, you're talking about seeing the behind the curtain mm, and the Superman strings. Yeah. Does that create, because it's... Like you get man who just want to, work with other artists because this artist is hot and you'll just get man who want to work with this guy this guy this guy this guy because for them because it's a stamp collection thing you Mm. know what i mean which i understand and i totally get it because when you do this art you do it for you as i said when i I think i was on my show i said look this album if you don't like it i'm sorry but i fucking love it and that's Mm. the only reason why i did it like i didn't i didn't do it it's a I didn't do it to please someone or to please, yeah, we need a girl single or we need this. Yeah. Bruv, I don't give a fuck. This is my shit. I did it for me. No one can tell me nothing. Yeah. Like, bruv, if you don't like it, I don't care, man. Change the channel. That's the... But people people respond to that. Core fans and the scene respond very kindly to that. That's a really important character within anybody within genre, right? Mm-hmm. Um, does... Does being uh, just seeing behind the the, the iron curtain <laughs> does that uh, for want of a better term does that put fire in the belly? Yeah. Oh, you know what? It, when I saw behind the curtain, it goes back to when I said, "Oh, yo, I've won." Like when I say I've won, like really, am I? Why am I? You know, I've won in life. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be doing this, and yet I am. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, for that to be in a way, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? What like, the fuck just happened? Kind of way. So, so yeah, like, but it's like when you look behind the curtain and you see like, oh, this industry's like this, like you know, or, or the way how you make money out of music, or how yo, this is fucked. Okay. Even down into an independent level, right. like we all, or even into the scene. Yeah. You just be like, fuck this. You know what? But what it never deterred me to stop doing it. It just made me think, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. Yeah. I'm going to do my shit. Yeah. And then when I'm ready to put it out, I'll come back out. Like, yeah. All of this other extra shit, you lot can do that. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, out, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's me. The losses are... Yeah, bro. Like, I'm... It's not... It's, it's not worth my energy trying to fit in. It's not my earth, worth my energy trying to um, do this. Yeah, I need to do this festival. And I need to do that. And I need to do that. And I need to... Like, bro. Panic. Not, almost panic. Get yeah, like, I'm not... I, bro, I don't care anymore. Um, I think... I've done enough, not enough to etch my name in history, even though other people say, maybe I'm still too humble. Yeah, he's still um, too humble. I mate. need to, I need to, yeah, I need to. <laughs> my cousin tells me about it, man. You, you're too humble. Like, you, you don't know what but the that's fuck the you... Produ- I think that's the producer in you, though. Because producers are notoriously, like, qu- quite quite behind the boards. They're just quite happy to, to you know, to, um, to, to uh, engage with the artists and push through the, the, uh, the final. You, know, you serve the tune. That's the thing. I've had people like ask me to do like beat battles and shit. And it's like, no disrespect to the people who have. The people who've asked me most of the time, they want me to battle people. And I'm just like, oh, yo, 
this is where the ego comes in and this is why I don't like it. This is why I I, I, I ostracize myself and I need to stay grounded. Yeah. As my wife says, don't talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> but like, because the person asked me to battle, like, yo, when you battle my man and I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, hold up. They ain't even produced for anyone. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. They've not got their produced, career on the line here. Or like, yeah, they have, yeah. or, or they, it's not even a career on the line. I just look at it like, bruv, you're just asking me. It's like what you're asking you're just, it's like the equivalent of you asking Just Blaze to battle me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No disrespect, yeah, yeah. but it is what it is. I Just Blaze has got records. Yeah. You get me? Like, yeah. so if I've got, it's like, bruv, it's disrespect. It's like asking Harry Love to go against a certain, bruv, certain man have records and yeah. plethora of stuff. Like, what? Well, I have already um, sustained the, 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 the you know, the test of time. Yeah. They've already got fucking 20 year old records yeah, under yeah, their yeah. belt, blood. Yeah. What's still getting played. So it's just like, why am I, uh, I'm not in it for this, man. You yeah. know what? Let me work on these 20 year records. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> and the yeah. only way to do that is to be fucking working. And that's how I've done this and I've done that. And I guarantee you, bruv, even down to like the snow goons, <laughs> like, when, bruv, only me and my cousin are the only first UK artists to actually work with them. They work with like, this record's got like Nems and mm. Sean Price and they were Onyx and Crazy. big up, big up the Snow Goons. Man. Yeah, I rate them. You know what I mean? Um, like they don't have to work with us. They don't have to, you know, they don't have to. Yeah. But if they like that's what sick. we do, that's what I'm saying. See this UK thing, bruv? It's bigger than that. We're bigger than UK, yeah. bruv. We just make dope music, bruv. Just get rid of the Well, team. I said it on the top, you know, we're not talking, we're talking international here. You know, this is... This is the international language of hip hop, you know. We, you know, there's no regionality within these bruv, beats that you create. No, nah, like even, bruv, this Maceo from De La Soul spoke about this. Yeah. Like, of so many people, rest in peace, doom, like yeah. so many, you know. But you know, I knew myself... when I did that shit. Like, I knew when I, 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 I knew when I, I came up with the name. I knew, like, I just knew. Well, before you knew it, it was on t-shirts. It was being yeah. worn everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Like, this was just, you know, never mind, you know, um, I was like a boy better know yeah. it's like you had the me myself at the same time as them I might add there was there's boy better know for grime and then there's me myself I for yeah, hip hop yeah, yeah. literally it was for the producer man like the producer like everyone produces man and even with the old school you know the purists they would know like yeah. this is the old Akasane, Akai, Akai Pro man would know about the S950 and them things yeah, there that. you get me so like yeah I was just yeah, I just knew about, I just knew, you know, when you just feel something in your chest? Yeah. And like, I just knew, you know what? And someone said it to me, I think it was about five years ago. I think it was, big up DJ Mad Nice. I think it was DJ Mad Nice. Right. Um, you know, for hours right. ago. He goes, bro, you do know, like, this shit's like Run DMC. It's true. And I said, what? And he yeah. goes, bro, man will be wearing that, like. Mm. For, for a long time. Yeah, like, and I'm like, yeah. bro, I didn't. Yeah, so go and get the bundles, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know I mean? um, yeah, you're right. And um, you know, of course, uh, Sway De Sapho, little Derek, he mm. had his kind of, he kind of had the brand thing, um, and killed it. But I don't know anybody else that really f fucked with the brand in that at that time. Even now, like you say, you could. Well, yeah, like you know what? When it was 2013, I think what made it help help work a lot when it dropped is the fact that. I'm not too starstruck at certain things, but like if I'm doing events or whatever, you know, you get support slots and rare, rare. I'm not afraid to go and approach a legend and say, yo, rare, rare, yo, here's a T. Yeah. And every legend I met was just like, yo, what the fuck is that? Yeah, 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 you yeah. You get yeah, me? Yeah. Like, sold itself. Yeah, like, and then that's when, you know, from Ninth Wonder to Pete Rock, even Just Blaze, Just Blaze wore it at when he, when, when Big Up Spin Doctor, when he had him down. Um, God, I, I remember, love that. It's there's like the so biggest, many man, like there's so many it's big a beautiful legends, fairy like, tale, bro, man. like even Mad Lib, like yeah. and J Rock, and and you know even Farrow, well, but but Farrow Munch, I kind of knew, so I big up Farrow Munch before. But he was he was he was the one even before I did this because when I did the first second time round, that was my second album. Yeah. we worked with the same producer, M Phases, in it, mm -hmm. and um, I remember when he was down at Jazz Cafe, and I went down to give him. See, this is the first time I met him. And I gave him the CD. He goes, yo, yeah, all for hip hop, all for hip hop. And that's the joint I put, you know, what I did with MP. And I was like, from then on, it was cool. And then I'll talk to Boogie Blind. Nice. And then when I was doing, yeah, when Ooh. I was doing Akai, I remember the second time 
I met Farrow and Farrow was like, yo, because they invited me down, big up Farrow. And he was just like, yo, listen, I don't know about you, man, but all this UK shit, you just make hip hop, bro. Yeah, it's true. And then that's when I just said, you know what, cool. And then the third time, I think, well, fourth time was at Boom Bap Festival. And then he was just Crazy. like, they kicked everyone out. And he's like, no, he's with us. <laughs> yeah. That's when I knew, yo, you know what, shit, man. Yeah. You get me, like, yo, big up, it. big up TJ, bro. Like, thank you, Farrow, man. You get me, like, but yeah, like, I, I, it's nice to actually be welcomed by a legend, like top five yeah. guy, yeah. and then meet people like Primo or whatever, like, oh, and stupid. yeah, man, uh, yeah, I know. How bro. did you meet Primo? Once again, big up Spin Doctor. Um, Jeez. I had like a tea for him and I had a couple Akai hats done. I had like three done. I've got one. I think Peanut Butter Wolf's got one. And Primo's got one. And um This is not a basic fucking conversation. You see yeah, what I'm saying, people? Yeah, like and um Woo. when I um I uh I remember like basically it was at Scala where he, where Primo was playing and I came through and then Spin was like, yo, just go and check your man at the back, innit? He gave me a wristband, I've come round the back. And I've gone, oh, it's safe. And I'm just, stuck. bro, Primo was the only yeah. one I was starstruck on, like real talk. <laughs> like I was like, to the point, like Primo yeah. had to calm me down. Really? Like, no, yo, bro, like, he was like, no, bro, we're here. You're here, man. Chill. Just yeah. <laughs> when you get that, you know, yeah, you you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I was like, "Yo, come here." Yeah, but yeah, um, <laughs> blind blown, like blazer suit of him backstage as well. Oh, stuff it. Yeah, bro, like yeah, man. I've smoked, bro. Funny enough, shit. Smoked a blunt with Freddie Gibbs on foot at, um, at the back. This is not hip hop Kemp. This is when I met Madlib, J Rock, Doom. What? When like yeah, it was me. Just we were supporting them in it at the forum. What? Year was what? It, this is quite a while. But yeah, I had um Quake was playing for Doom. Big up Quake from Speaker's Corner Quartet. Yeah, big up Quake. Um, but yeah, that was yeah fucking. Well, I've got photos of it. It's on my Instagram. It's when I met Doom. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I gave them T-shirts. I think my my Me Seven was out at the time, and um, yeah, bro, that's some crazy shit. Like, Can you, do you still sell them now? They still available now? The T-shirts and the um, there's new brands now. I don't know about like anywhere else, unless you want to go to you Let's know go former go labels and that. But yeah. if you want to, bro, if you want to um get my shit. Get it from Village Live. If you want to get the T-shirt bundle, get it from Village Live. So or get still it from there, me still, direct. Yeah, yeah. We still got quite a few things bundles. I, I don't think it's. Um, we will be doing more T-shirts. Let's put it this way. You know what I mean? It's because I can't just say like, yeah, we're only doing a hundred and then stopping. This shit lasts forever. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we got the vinyls. We got the tapes. You can hit me up for the vinyls and the tapes, yeah. or hit up Village Live, or my new album. You can hit me direct or Boot Records. Do you ever get? Do you ever get? Overwhelmed. I mean, this is something actually um, respectfully that happened on the Fly Hooli podcast, which was only a couple of weeks ago, to be mm. fair. And, uh, you know, he, he made it very clear that there was people from back in the day, even through the, the, the issues of vinyl pressing and lockdown, that, you know, even to, you know, there's still these characters that you see on your database that want the record. Your database must be, you know. It's, I, it's, I, you know what? I don't have a database and that's how I deal with it. Really? Yeah. I don't have a database. So you, do you just recognise names when they come and say to whatever when, address? Bruv, everything, everyone who's bought anything off me direct has got it. Nice. Um, I'm not behind. I don't run, like I do run a label digitally, like my music records, which puts out all my stuff. Yeah, yeah. But no, anything I have personally, if I don't, I'll send you to the people who've manufactured it and they will get it to you. Nice. But other than that, I'm not like, I understand how it could be overwhelming when you're doing stuff and I've just started like, um, it's obviously manufacturing my own stuff. Most of the time, I own the stuff and I'll get someone else to manufacture it or I'll get, you know what I mean? It's like, like Hitman for Hire, innit? You know, like how yeah, you'll yeah, get yeah, yeah. an Alchemist record on Tough Kong yeah. and then that same record, maybe five years later, he'll put it out on his own label. Yeah. That's how I like to use, that's how I like to work. But with um, certain records, like for instance, represses as well, like, to be honest with you, I prefer dealing with people who are transparent in how they deal with business. So mm. that's hence why I worked with Village Live, hence why I worked with Boot mm. multiple times and sold. And we've all been happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. So like I'm not 
um, taking shots at anyone else or even Tough Kong. Like we've been happy. Tough Kong, boom, big up Tough Kong. We put out me and Mag, um, me and Jalo's album, Magnum Opus. Like everything's on the table, isn't it? And boom, and then you know you just go and run. As long as I own the digital, I actually own the music. I don't really give a damn. Yeah. Like I'll be real with you, man. It's like we can repress this ten years from now if you want to. If we don't, cool. But at the end of the day. It's there and yeah. it will stay there. Yeah. It's in history, isn't it? That's yeah. the whole point for me. History. I don't want to hear like when I start printing because I want to start eventually manufacturing other people's records. Nice. But you know, you've got to start somewhere, and the only way I can start is what the what I'm doing now, isn't it? Same way when I started. Yo, shit! I put out fucking three albums, and I don't know how to record yet. Now, now to record. <laughs> so now I've got. So now. Yeah, I, you don't know you you know I know how to make a beat, I know how to produce, I know how to stem shit out. So you get me like mm. it's just one 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 step at a time. I know I'm old, but one step at a time. No, nah, no, nah, you know what? Like you said at the top, you know, you, you the engines are running and you're just moving. You're moving intuitively as you go. Got to. Mm. If I can't Keller, man, you would know cuz you if anything, yeah, you're aware, you're, you're ahead of me, really. Yeah, ahead of me, man. Bruh, rock steady crew for one. This is what I'm saying. Like, for th- the fact that you're in one of the foundation crews, bro, mm-hmm. of this shit, mm-hmm. to just show you, you're already um, testament to how you look at me. Yeah, yeah. I of look course. like, do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, when you got people like me meeting Sean Price, rest in peace. Crazy. Whoever it may be, Black yeah. Milk, Odyssey, yeah. uh, Lord Finesse. Mad. Um, these are people, Diamond D, my hero, yeah. like large professor, people. Who, someone said to me, oh, yeah, no, nah, bruv, you're meant to meet them because this is what you do. It's, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. You're meant to be part of, because you're part of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you're part of Rock City. Do you know yeah, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So it's like, well, that's that's my whole thing, man. We're meant for this. Yeah. So if we're meant for this, no, bro. Yeah, like, if, we're, talk, if man yeah. is meant for this, we've already proved we're meant for this, yeah. and we're still here. So we're like, let's you know, if, for the non-believers, let's yeah. continue proving that we're meant for this. Yeah. So the next generation below us, you know, all of the plethora of artists who I work with, yeah. the new artists who are coming up, they will show you like, and then they'll do the same again instead of doing. You know, the same mistakes what we've seen yeah. in this scene where man's just trying to hold shit. Yeah. Not told man about distributors and not told man yeah. about rare, rare, not told man about where the money's coming from. Mm-hmm. When they can just be like, look, this is how I do it. This is how I do that. If you know, this is how much I'm getting, blood, what can we do? Yeah, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, I'm a transparent guy, bro. Yeah, 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 anyone yeah. I've worked with, anyone who's I've put shit out, or even on my label, like I've told them, yo, mm. you sure you want to, yo, you, I, you know, if we're doing this, I own this, you own the band camp. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, just got to be transparent. That's it, bro. Not like transparent and then fucking. I'm transparent to you and then you go and see the supplier who we've done this transparent deal with I've told you and then the supplier's telling you, yeah, but bruv, didn't you know about X, Y, and Z? Huh? The extra P of this and that. And you'd be like, huh? 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 I thought my man was transparent. Huh? You get me? Like, mm-hmm. I don't work like that, bruv, because trust is a very, very, very big thing for me. It's a very precious thing. Bruv, my family depend on whether I make music or not. Huh? Like, they depend on whether I put out or make a beat, mm. or whether that depends on the rent. Real shit. Yeah. You get me? Like, yeah. so it's just like, a, but a lot of people feel, you know, no disrespect, they're still in hobby craft land. Mm. You get me? Mm. It's like a hobby thing, like to them. But for me, it's always been real life, man. It's always been like, without, if I don't make a beat, if I don't do it, nothing comes out. So if people want to know why my shit's dope, that's why it's dope. Mm. Because life depends on it. Life depends on it. A warning from history, people, as well as an optimistic point of view of the future. The album is called Still. Yeah, go and get that. Parkinson, man. get that. I'll be buying mine. Yeah, go man. get it. Right here. And of course, all the other catalogues are available at uh, at your trail from the moment you jump on Spotify. Get your tapes. <laughs> get red your tapes. tapes. No you know what I mean? 
Serious. Yeah. Thank you so much for passing through, man. Thank you for having me, man. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully, yeah, I'll be back go. again, yeah, like my cuz. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. To talk, yeah. About, I'll, you know, I'll come back another time and just talk about just just production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, what I mean, <laughs> who, what, yo, what's my man like in the studio or whatever? Yeah, like, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? We're getting to yeah, listen. Yeah. The doors always open. Tea in the pot, drinks, fridge, ashtray on the table. <laughs> oh, brother, Stand I didn't even know you could bun in it. I would have lit ages ago. I know you're talking about. It's a family show. Yeah. Kill a kill. Podcast, I like it was out of fashion, all right? Thank you for having us. Stay lucky. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Take care. Peace. Peace. Woo.